Guys, so I'm going to show you guys how to germinate uh, the Delonyx Regia seed. See that little part? It's got the little tail right there. That's the part that you want to cut. I've done it already with this guy right here. And you see that little whitish, yellowish part sticking out? That's going to be the seed. But see, this thing is hard as hell. So you really need to crack it open or else it's going to be sitting for a long time before you see it sprout up and have your first little seedling. Um, I did this one as well. I don't know if I clipped too much on that guy or maybe not enough but as you can see with this one over here they look a little bit different. So I've done this before where I clipped just a little bit around and it took about 11 days for me to have them sprout up. Um, this one, I just wanted to show you all, I crushed this one in the middle after I messed up the cut and so you can see what it looks like, the seed right there, that whitish color with the husk that's around it. It's thick as hell so you really do need to cut it, like I said, it's going to be sitting in there in your pots for a long time before it finally starts to germinate. So I'm going to do one more. Um, I found the easiest way to do this. You can use nail clippers if you got big ones because it's kind of hard to fit it in there. but you get some wire cutters, um, I like to use these ones, they work just fine. So like I said, it's got two sides, you want to go for the one that's got the little tail and just kind of want to get just the tip of it and snip. So I didn't get it quite enough, do a little more. Little more. Ah, there we go. So we have them hiding over there. We'll keep on cutting. So here you can see this. It looks kind of like the other one that I told you I wasn't so sure about. Um, this guy right here. They look kind of similar. Uh, I don't want to attempt to cut more because I don't want to risk damaging the seed. But um, this one came out really well. So that's how, I've, um, how I'm going to go about it this time. Like I said, I've done this before where I used nail clippers and we just clipped around it a little bit. But um, yeah. So after this, I've um, already soaked them for about 24 hours or so. You can go ahead and do that again. And then I go straight into uh, planting them. Pause. Okay, so now that we have them cut up and ready to plant, this is what I'm gonna do next. So I created a base with um, just some organic potting mix at the bottom and then I put down some seed starter. I did about just a little bit of the potting mix to here and then filled the rest with seed starter. I'm gonna plant um, I'm gonna plant this best looking one first here. I'm gonna put him right in here and then I'm gonna cover it back up. I'm just gonna lay him down like that with that part that we cut facing downward. Um, and then you're gonna cover him back up with not a lot of soil, just a little bit. Spread that out. I dampened that soil as I was going on. So with the potting mix, I sprayed it a little bit. And then when I added on the seed starter, I sprayed it a little bit. And um, I'm going to spray it a little bit now that I've recovered the seed and added some more. Just a little bit. I'm going to then uh, put that over here. And I'm going to plant these other two. Um, but I wanted to show you what I did before. What I did before was I used these little jiffy pellets, um, the ones that you add water to and they, you know, they grow like five times the size, little pellets like this. And um, I used that. And this is what I came up with before. These are about, let's see, six weeks old. But as you can see over here, I burned them and, you know, so I'm trying to redo everything, but this is 
six weeks old, the Delonyx Regia. And as you can see, this has got this cool little slanting shape over here. And I bought the kit online at Amazon, um, from Nature's Blossom. And here's the final result right here as a bonsai, which is what I'm going to be going for. And so, yeah. Um, so, after I get these three ready, I'm then going to take them over and put them under a grow light that I have. Okay, so like I said before, um, I'm going to put them under the light. Uh, I'm going to add those other ones and I'm also going to bring back the plants that I'm trying to revive. But in case they fail, like I said, this is going to be kind of my backup. Um, these next three that I'm going to be putting in here. The lights that I'm using are... I have a, um, a light, a blue light and a red light. Well, they both, they say that they're full spectrum, but one's a lot more blue than the other one. Um, I bought these also actually on Amazon. One's from Tautronics. It's the E, it's a 24 watt. This is the more red, and I also have this little blue one, which I also bought on Amazon. Let's see, Fulbright. It's by Morrison, I think that's what the, the name was. Yeah, here we go, Morrison. And so this one is this blue light that I have here, and the red one I got over here. And so I'm just keeping both of those on there, and yeah, I hope everything works out and like I said the ones that I did last time I ended up seeing sprouts in those in about nine to ten days and I didn't cut as much off of those ones as I did these ones so I'm hoping to see um, these sprout up quicker and I'll be sure to let you guys know how everything goes and I'll be checking back in on you um, when I finally got sprouts alright thanks for watching the show and thanks for watching if you like it give us a like thank you